In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to add a little pizzazz to your project with a sparkle effect. I will be using Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is change my background properties. I'm going to go to my File pull down, Document Properties, select our background, and I'm going to turn this black. That, will, that way we'll be able to see our uh, white sparkle. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is grab our um, star and polygon icon. And I'm going to hold the control key down to keep this straight. And I'm going to draw a shape. We're going to change the corners to an 8 and the spoke ratio to a 0 0.06. Okay, that gives us pretty much our entire sparkle. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a circle. And I'm going to change the transparency just a little bit. And I'm going to put this circle right on top of our sparkle. I'm going to make this circle just a little bit bigger. We do that by holding the control and the shift key down and selecting our handle. There we go. And I'm going to make sure that the circle is pushed to the back. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do here is take our sparkle, convert it to a path. I'm going to go back into File, Document Properties, Snap, and check this Snap Nodes to Objects. Okay. Select our sparkle again, select the node tool, holding the control key down, I'm going to select this red node, and I'm going to push it to the top of our circle until it snaps. There we go. And I can delete this circle. Now that's just to get these, uh, these legs just a little bit longer. I think it looks a little nicer. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw a perfect circle. We're going to change our transparency and I'm going to make this a radial gradient. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is blur that. We'll do about a 10% for blur. And I'm going to stick that right on top of our uh, uh, sparkle. And I'll select the circle, control shift. We're going to make this just a little bit bigger, about like that. Now, I'm also going to duplicate this circle that I've just drawn. I'm going to make it a flat color. We're going to make it white. I'm going to hold the control and the shift key down again, and grab a handle, and burn this down a little bit like so. That way it'll kind of blend in uh, these crosshairs in here. Okay, and that's pretty much our sparkle. So what can you do with a sparkle? Well, let's continue on and I'll show you how to apply this. So I'm going to take this thing right here and group it together and we're going to slide this out of the way for now. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to draw a background. And we'll do something about like so. And I'm going to make this a dark orange. And I'm going to give it a gradient. We'll edit our gradient. And for the transparent one, we're going to make it black. Okay. And we're going to change it. We're going to make our brown to the top. We're going to take the black to the bottom. It gives us a nice brown and black gradient there. All right. I'll just go ahead and uh, just center this uh, background up on our page. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is let's just draw a button. Say we wanted to add a little sparkle to a button. So I'll draw a square. Let's give this a lighter shade here so we can see it. Okay, let me true this up. Uh, we'll make this about, let's see what 580 by about 230 does. Okay. That'll start us off. And I'm going to add a stroke. And I'm giving that about an 8 pixel stroke. And I'm going to duplicate this. And we're going to make that stroke white. Okay, and we'll zoom in on this here. I'm going to select my duplicated copy, node tool, dynamic offset, and I'm going to pull that in just to the inside of our dark brown stroke. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to take the inside we've just um, dynamic, dynamically offsetted, and I'm going to duplicate that. And we'll take our Bezier tool, and I'm just going to hold my control key down, draw right across here. And we'll move this down just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to select our button and our Bezier path, and I'm going to do a path intersection. Okay, that splits this in half and we'll work on that in just a second next I'm gonna select the white stroke bottom copy and what we'll do here is we'll turn off our fill and for the stroke we'll do a radial gradient and we'll adjust the gradient push this all the way down like so and we'll give that about a 1% blur. Okay. Next, we're going to work on this uh, upper portion here. I'm going to turn that white for a fill. And we're going to give this a gradient. Slide this over so we can see it. And we're going to adjust our gradient. There we go. And for the stroke, we'll make a radial gradient. And we'll adjust our radial gradient. And what I'm going to do is hold our control key and flip this 180 degrees. this up to the top here. Okay, let me zoom out. And holding the control key down, I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. There we go. There, that kind of gets us close to our uh, button. And I'll go ahead and add some text. add some random text here a little big and we'll select our button and our text and I'll just align that onto the button okay I think we're getting close here and what I'm going to do next is um, let me zoom in on this. I think what I'll do is I'll use our Bezier tool. And 
And I'm going to add just a little bit of a curvature here. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. We'll hit enter and then I'll grab our bezier tool again. We'll snap on that point and snap on this point. Okay. I'm going to take this, select our bezier tool, just kind of center this up a little bit. Looks pretty good. I'll fill that with white and I'll remove the stroke. Now I'm going to take this and we'll flip on our fill and stroke dialog. I'll select linear gradient and we'll make the whitest down below and the transparent up at the top. Okay, I'll select the shape again. And we're going to give this about a make this about a 35% for uh, master opacity and we're going to give this a blur. And I'm going to blur it quite a bit. We'll do about 11. And we're going to make sure our text is to the front. They give us just a little bit of a, a gradient right here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is select this entire button. We'll group that together. I'll duplicate it and we're going to mirror it. We'll mirror it downward and we're going to make a reflection. Next, we're going to draw a square, about like this. Doesn't matter how big the square is. And we're going to change its opacity to full. And we're going to make it a gradient. We'll edit our gradient. And on the transparent one, we're going to make it black. We're going to modify our gradient. We'll put white to the top, black to the bottom here. About like so. Okay, now I'm going to select this square. I'm going to select both objects here and do a, ma or a mask set. And that kind of gives us our. Uh, our reflection and I'm gonna give that just a little bit of a blur select our fill and stroke dialog give this about a two percent for a blur okay I'll select both these things group them together and I'm gonna center that up on our page okay now we're ready to use our sparkle. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the sparkle is I'm going to select it and holding our control key down, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. And we're going to put that, make sure it's to the top. Add that about right there. Now, if you're having trouble with uh, snapping it now, you want to go back into File, Document Properties, and uncheck the Snap Nodes to Objects. And that'll let you freely move that sparkle around without it snapping to anything. I'm just going to put it right here on this corner. We'll zoom in on this. And that's how you add a little pizzazz to a click button. Now there are, other, there are plenty of other things that you can do with sparkles. For example, uh, you can use sparkles as stars if you're making some type of a sky theme. Um, or we can duplicate this. I'll slide this out of our way here. And we can add this to pictures. So if we bring in a picture into Inkscape, make this just a little bit smaller. Make sure it's to the top. 
zoom in on Mike Tyson here. We can put that right on that gold tooth. Now that is classy right there. And that's pretty much the sparkle effect. So let's zoom back out and we'll finish up by putting you back on this document right here. And that's our screencast. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.